Hello everyone, my name is Jellybean Joey, and today we're gonna to be talking about stream microphones. In the last video, we talked about different types of webcams you could use. Lighting has obviously improved since the last video, which again, was a big thing, but I talked about microphones at the end of that video. So I have a few different microphones to try out, things that you can kind of get started streaming with. The one we're here right now is an AT2035. We're going to listen to that with processing, which you're hearing right now, and without processing, so just a flat dynamic sound. We're also going to be taking a look at the Behringer SL84C. This is a Shure SM58 knockoff. We'll be taking a look at a standard Amazon special Vankio headset. I did a review of this, which you can find right here. We're also going to be taking a look at my fiance's EM91CU microphone, my trusty Samsung CO1U. And the last microphone we're going to try out is the second most expensive microphone on this list. This is the Carbon from Mackie. It is a USB-C, which is brand new for microphones. It's on par with the Blue Yeti. In fact, it might even be better. And it's, again, it's a newer mic. So we'll see how this one sounds as well and kind of just have a mic comparison. Let's begin with our lowest microphone. It's going to be this. All right. I've gone ahead and used a different channel. So this is channel four on my mixer. Um, I've had to put the gain to about the almost 100%, probably about 75% past. Uh, level is almost maxed out on this Mackie mixer as well. This is without any processing. Uh, we'll go ahead and apply our filters. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog in the summertime. Okay, what you're hearing now is the Vankio CM7000 headset. This is how it sounds. I have put absolutely no effects on it. And now we're gonna see what it sounds like with effects. Uh, overall, from what I've experienced with this microphone before, it does sound pretty okay. Yeah, nothing really special to it. We'll go on to the next microphone now. Okay, now we're on the Mackie EM91CU Studio Condenser Microphone. Again, this is a USB option. Uh, from what I, I've, I've used it before, it does sound pretty good, uh, but you really do have to be careful with it to make it sound you know, not so bad. Now we're gonna apply EQ. Here's how it sounds when you've added all of those voice effects onto it. Hopefully I like the sound. Hopefully it's not peaking too, too much. Uh, this is a hot mic. I'll let you know that right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and swap microphones again to our trusty Samsung CO1U. We're now on the Samsung CO1U USB Studio Condenser. Again, no filters on this. It's just how it sounds. We're gonna go ahead and swap to EQ. This microphone I've had for many, many years, it's still a champ, it still holds up, and it's still a really, really good value. Now that that's done, let's go on to our second last microphone, which is going to be the Mackie Carbon microphone, which I'm excited to hear, so just be back in a moment. All right, so this is just a sample with the Mackie Element USB microphone. This is the Blue Yeti competitor. We're currently in cardioid pattern, but we're gonna try a few, a few others, so here we go. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog in the summertime. Back in cardioid, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog in the summertime. This is with filters, EQ, compression, just to kind of have it see how the sound is overall. Hopefully there's no static as I noticed in the earlier recordings. Hey guys, future Jelly Bean Joey here. Just wanted to mention a few things. Uh, when I was editing this video, I had found that the USB mics were way too hot. Um, and that's just the problem of using USB. Uh, I had to lower them in post to either minus eight, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20 dB. So I wanted to let you know that as well. So you might hear a slightly distorted, but he brought it down to make it uh, pleasing on the ears. So the microphone that you're hearing right now is the AT2035. And I'm recording in my kitchen because this is where my new stream setup is and where my office is. The biggest problem with this room is all the reverb and everything which you can hear. Um, I have went into Nectar 3, which I wasn't using previously. I was just using uh, different OBS plugins from TDR. This time I'm using Nectar 3 from Isotope and I have it all in one. So I've got a gate, I've got EQ, I have compression. What I've also done is I have gone ahead and added some more microphones to this as well. I had found I had a clip of the Shure SM7B that was connected directly to my mixer. It didn't have a Cloudlifter CL1, uh, which a lot of people recommend, or a Fedhead. So it was just directly plugged into the mixer. Uh, it's not the best clip because I scanned. I didn't really understand how that mic worked. Um, so I was about maybe a few too many inches away from the microphone. So it sounded kind of hollow. 
but that's an example. I also had a clip of a blue Yeti that was recorded in an untreated space. Um, but yeah, aside from that, thank you so much for watching. It's pretty, pretty nice little setup. Pretty hefty. Lots of weight to it. And yeah, I just thought I would do a really quick video on this and why I'm excited for this microphone. Today, you are listening to the SE-X1S microphone. Do a little bit of a gain, some compression, a gate, and more compression. Here we go. And we'll also turn the gain down even further. Okay, as you can hear, the mic does sound a little bit better. And you've done well there, buddy. All right, back to this game. Yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, like I said, if you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more streaming tutorials, how-to videos, and just content like this because this is what I love doing. I have a lot of fun making it and I think you guys are definitely going to enjoy what we have in the near future. I'm likely gonna be moving rooms, by the way, so you'll see a different setup here in a, a week or so. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching and peace out.